Hello friends, welcome to this session of learning R programming and in this session we are going to learn how to adjust theme of your plot and this is the plot which I have plot. This is a, cor a scatter plot to show correlation between sepal length and petal length of iris flowers and the data is from Edgar Anderson's iris data. Now we will see the different plot elements. This is a title of the plot, this is subtitle, these are axis titles and these uh, values are axis text. This is legend, show the data. And this is the background which is gray here. And these white lines in this background are called as grid lines. Okay. These are X grid line, X grid lines are there, Y grid lines are there, and major grid lines, minor grid lines and these differences are there. Okay. We'll see how to customize a plot using different three elements. But before doing that, there are pre-built themes. Theme controls visual elements of the plot like color, then uh, font, face of this uh, title, text which is there in the plot, uh, background, this my uh, grids and all that thing. Okay. We'll first see the predefined themes which are there bundled with ggplot2. And for that we have to add a layer called as theme. And when we type theme, you get a drop down list of different themes. The default theme is called as gray, theme gray. Okay, here that gray theme is there. We'll start with theme BW and we'll see what it looks like. And here you can see that background got changed. It's not gray now, it's black and white. All other elements are same. Okay, when we go to other theme, I will just remove this and I will top the type the underscore then theme classic is there this is another very good theme and when we run that we can see here the box is not there grid lines are not there okay. and it's just like what uh, the classic plot which we see in the literature then instead of this classic we can have another theme and you can try all these themes this dark theme is there background is dark or you can have the theme uh, light the light theme is there that uh, grid is there okay that x grid y grid both grids are there and box is also complete then we'll just very rapidly go through other themes line draw and you can see how those visual elements are getting customized Again, here that theme minimal is there, a very good theme. The axis lines are not there, but grid lines are there. Okay. And then we'll see the other theme that is theme. This theme set, we can set a theme and uh, this will not use here. Theme void will go for okay, this and there are many packages which provide their uh, pre-built themes for us okay, in this session we are not going to see those themes which are available in other packages for that i will make another video in this session we are going to learn how to define a theme how to customize a plot by defining the theme elements now i will remove this theme void and i will make that theme uh, classic and on this theme I will build or customize other elements run that this is classic theme now I will first play with the text of this plot okay for that I will put this plus theme bracket then I want to play with text here that text is there I will put text here is equal to now I'll have to go for the element dot text these different elements are there element blank if i don't want any text there i will run that no text is there in the plot then i will select element text and in this i will type a uh, face of that text okay, there are different faces bold is there italic is there i will go for the bold and run that now all the, uh, X, the plot text is bold. Now I want to change color. 
color is equal to red all the text will be red okay. if you want to change specific text then here that uh, this text element we have to modify okay. if i want to modify title only then i will put there plot underscore title that plot title element text face bold color only uh, this title will be colored one and a bold one theme element is not defined i will just try another thing title underscore text plot dot title these many different elements are there available plot plot dot title element underscore text will run that yeah title got changed that color is that uh, to go for the subtitle just put here subtitle run that a okay, subtitle will get changed if you want that for axis axis dot title but remember that we have selected the element text and then we are defining in the arguments for element text inside this bracket we'll run that only axis title will have the color and those will have the bold face if you want that face to be italic just type italic here run that if you want to play with this uh, axis text then you have to instead of this title you have to change make it text and run that axis text is changed modified it's now uh, color red and face italic if you want to change the font font, font family then uh, you have to put that family argument after comma put family is equal to serif okay. run that that font for me family will get changed now uh, i will change just the x, x axis text axis dot text dot x for x axis i'll remove this double equal to sign and we'll run that only x axis text will get changed axis dot title dot x run that only the x axis got changed okay. now if we want to change the lines okay, we'll put there axis dot line is equal to okay element line is uh, element line therefore we have to use that element line and then we can change that color is equal to red okay run that it is red we can change the size of that line also size is equal to uh, i will type a larger number there to make it more bold more conspicuous this is very large very large size therefore uh, will that size here it is saying that size argument is deprecated and we have to use the line width that i will put here line width and this time i will put that line width as 2 run that okay a very thick axis line is that this doesn't look good so i will just remove that then we can have line type also line type is equal to and that i will put there as 4 and any number you you can try there just to know more about that if uh, you want to play with that line end i will just put comma here line end yeah. and line end style round but square select the line end and here we can say that round is there round and this line size is quite small therefore the round thing is not i think visible therefore i will will go with the line width to see the effect line width is equal to 5 i will take and this is the round end okay we'll see what the butt end is b u double t run that and this is the butt end or uh, the square will use square here some angle is there i think will not see that angle 
square line end is not there i will just take help question mark line end and run that no document for line end here only i will type line end again to get the help line end and round and square is there but for square what argument is necessary and yeah square end is there and there uh, that angle hollow angle is not there you can play with all the theme elements which you require to play with okay? and to know what those theme elements are there just put the question mark here and write the theme and run that okay? you'll get a help here which will explain you what theme elements you can use okay? this many theme elements are there all line elements axis ticks you can get help from here and you can know more about that just learn that practice a lot to know more about theme and find out the theme which is your signature theme by looking at which people will understand that this plot is your plot or you can you uh, specify your plot as per requirement of your mentor or your publication and do practice data visualization if you like this video please click the like button please share this video with your friends and if you are not subscribed my video please subscribe to my channel thanks thanks for watching